Good morning everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel, which I've decided should be renamed Making in My Jammies. But no, really, I'm not going to rename it. It's just funny that lately, whenever I come on in the morning, I'm making in my jammies because I don't want to make everything a mess before I take a shower. Plus, we know what a messy maker I am. Look, it's early morning and I have glue all over my hands already. Well, first of all, it's because I'm using up that crappy Crafter's Companion glue. Yes, folks, I hauled that crappy glue all the way here to use on my envelopes. See, here's the thing about me. I bought a big old tub of that before I figured out it was crappy, right? I have to use it up. So I hauled that with me here to the Holy Land, and I'm using it up on all my envelopes. And it reminds me each and every day why I will never buy this glue again. It is so thick. It takes it takes a while to dry. I mean, it does dry clear. You can be super messy with it. Like, it, it does dry clear, folks. But, ugh, it's yucky. I would never use this on one of my projects anymore. Oh, give me art glitter glue and Tombow Mono each and every time. Each and every time. But I didn't know when I bought it. And it seemed like a good price for a big old tub, and now I'm stuck with this big old tub. But yesterday I mailed out 21 envelopes. 21, folks. 21 either Brax, We Wishes, or Crocodiles went in the mail. And I had submissions like Sabrina's submission, but 21. My husband was cracking up. He's like, okay, you are single-handedly the largest postal mailer in Israel, for sure. And they did laugh when I went to the post office. Okay, so I'm working on an envelope for Ms. Dina. As you can see, it's not yet finished. Clearly it's for Dina, although I did make some of these for other people. Um, but it is for Miss Dina. We're not yet done yet. Folks, I got to redo. I'm going to make that book a prototype. Now that I have watched a couple of videos on how to make a junk journal and how to make a traveler's notebook, oh, I cannot send that to her. If it was meant to be a flat mailer, then I have to make the flat mail again. If it's meant to be a notebook, it's meant to be something else. I cannot mail her something in between that is mucky messy. It's just not my way. So sorry, Dina, you're going to wait a little bit longer for this package because I need to fix it. Um, but that's okay. I only owe her a Memdex card. I'm making her something extra because I want to. And it's so nice to see her back more herself. And it was really heartfelt to see that today. And I was so excited watching her videos because I could hear that little lilt back in her voice. And that you can't fake, folks. That's just Dina being Dina. So it was nice to hear that, Dina. That made me very happy today. All right, so what am I on here yabber-jabbering about? Well, two important things. The first one is Miss Jellybean has an outstanding video up today that you need to all go check out. I'm going to tell you why. One of the things I like about shabby makers, and I got to share this with you, and why I think they're amazing crafters, probably better than most of us who do other things, is because they will take something that is completely unrelated to crafting and turn it into a craft object. Yep, that is the magic of a shabby maker. They know how to take like disparate objects and make them crafty. And Miss Jellybean has done it this morning. So she's gone to the dollar, either the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. She's hauled like baby hats. <laughs> she's hauled these like hair noodles. They're like for curling your hair. For those people that aren't blessed with my wacky doodle curls. Yeah, you don't want to be blessed with these curls because you have to straighten them all the time. Trust me, not fun. We always want what we don't have, right? My mom has pin straight hair, always wanted my curls. And I don't, I didn't, anyway, we won't talk about that. These are curlers. Basically, she took those and made them into shabby candy canes and explains how you can make regular candy canes. It's a great Christmas in July project, super inexpensive. This is what I love, super inexpensive yet super cute, okay? All from an altered object she got at the Dollar Tree. How can you go wrong, folks? But it's the vinyl bows she made. Guys, she made those without a die cutter. She hand cut those bows and they're perfect. So go check out Jelly Bean Junction. I'm putting the video down below. And there's a number two. All right, you all know that I love Crafty Kimchi's work on Willow Lane, right? She was a big inspiration for a lot of the stuff I made for Danielle. And she, like Lillard, just has a knack when it comes to Willow Lane. Some people are just good with different collections of Maggie Holmes. Alicia Lovelady Generation is a gifted maker. But not just with Maggie Holmes, she's also very good with All Heart. But I'm telling you, when it comes to Willow Lane, I think Crafty Kimchi and Lily are two of the best makers. Crafty Kimchi's super good. Well, she has a new video up. Nothing to do with Maggie Holmes, really, really. Listen to this. For those of you that want to make flowers or do make flowers, this is the video for you, and I'm going to tell you why. I, I learned how to make flowers in a kind of funky way, kind of via Kathy, kind of not via Kathy, partially via Kathy, via trial and error, because I had to make that hoop for Miss Sabrina. So I learned on the fly, right, how to make flowers. I wish I'd had this video from Crafty Kimchi. Oh my gosh, she shows us how she rolls out the edges. I was like, so that's how it's done. I was using a spoon. Don't laugh, I was using a spoon. And she shows us a bunch of things that I wish I had learned before ever making a flower. So, 
if you're an expert flower maker, like you're like a lily level or a Alicia, like Le maybe Alicia did, like loves to make flowers too. I don't know. I actually don't know if Alicia makes flowers, but Lily does make tons of great flowers. All right. So let's say you're an expert maker like Lily or like Sabrina. You know how to do it already. Or you're like me. You've done it enough times, but you're not an expert. Or maybe you're like Kathy. You're really good at it, but you're not yet an, quite an expert, but you're much better than I am. Okay. This is still the video for you. I promise you. This video has so many good tips. I was like, she uses distressing to dye in a clever way and it dries beautifully. I was like, wow. And if you're just starting out, this is the right video. I promise you. This is going to be so helpful. I wish I'd had this video earlier, um, but I was glad it came today. So crafty kimchi, flower tutorial. I'm putting it down below. Jelly beans. Awesome. Let's alter some stuff from the Dollar Tree project. Holy cheap and holy cute. That's what I'm going to say. Holy cheap and holy cute. And this is why I love like Sabrina. This is why I love Jelly Bean. Like these shabby makers, folks, Donna Dreams Times 3, uh, Miss Deb Hendrick. Oh, Deb, what's your last name? Is it Hendrick? I hope that's right. Hendrick? I'm close. Anyway, these makers know how to take something and make something from nothing. And I'm amazed by that because that's truly a maker, folks. That's like when you're like, whoa, these people can make anything. And this is why I like shabby because you actually learn how to make and then you can bring it to all your other wackadoodle projects like Maggie Holmes and All Heart. Anyway, I'm learning all sorts of things from these people and I want you to be able to learn it too because it makes me a better maker each and every day. So, Miss Jellybean and Miss Crafty Kimchi. Wow, wow, wow. What a morning. All right, I have to do some adulting. Today is not a making day. I'm in my pajamas finishing some of these up, but now I got to go do some adulting. You know, it's funny. Even when you're away, bills have to be paid. Things have to be done. So today is an adult day. Not so happy about that, but what can you do? I will be back on later today after I'm done my adulting, which also includes a doctor's appointment. <sighs> yeah, even here, folks. This is what sucks about autoimmune. Even when you're traveling, you need a doctor's appointment. Not because I'm ill. I'm much better. Just as a checkup. It's a precautionary doctor's appointment. But still, who wants to go to the doctor when you're on holiday? Not this woman, but I got to go. Today's an adulting day. It's just that simple. Got to do those every once in a while. All right, folks. I wish you a happy, happy Monday. No, I'm thinking about you. Dina, yay! You're sounding so much better. And um, yeah, that's it. Happy Monday to y'all. Take care and bye for now.